Hello everyone, this is King Kong to lesson. This is lesson 9, a smart power distribution box DIY. So in this video, I will show you how to make up powerful smart power distribution box like this box. From zero step to step, how to DIY make it. And you will prepare all the parts and uh, DIY by yourself. These lessons will flow fine point. Uh, just uh, the first one, the config DB, and the second, what is the function you need? And the third, a diagram design. And the fourth, uh, how to make it. And the last, the fifth, uh, how to test and have a demonstration video for the DB box. So well, let's look at the first one, how to configure the DB. This is for the DB's hardware. Uh, just the first, uh, we will uh, check these three options. The first one, is the face uh, uh, in your country? Which power you used? Uh, one face or three face? So you need to choose the MCB for one face or three face. Uh, some countries will use one face for the 220 volt, and some is 110 volt. And if you use three face, maybe 380 volt. So we can look at this power distribution box. Uh, this is the MCB, the brick. This is the incoming for the power. So if you use one face or use three face, uh, just replace uh, this brick, is okay? Uh, so in this demo box, we have used the one face and for the 220 volt. So if you use three face, uh, just replace this one. And also, uh, I think uh, this is for the single face output. If you want a three face output, you just change the AC contact. So this is different from single face or three face, just according to the brick, brick, and the AC contact. And this is the B option, just the channel number. What's the channel number means? Uh, in your family or in your building, will have many power load, like lamp and the curtain and the blink and the shot, or the socket or your warm hot and air conditioning. So many, many different power load. So you need to design uh, how many channel numbers you will install the AC contact and the brick because some lamps can use and connect together. And some large power and large current load, you need independently, uh, you use a dependent channel for this load, like the air conditioning or the warm hot or some other large current. So you need to choose how many channels you will want. Just like this, uh, this is 16 channel AC contact output. So uh, you will confirm uh, which is for lamp, which is for curtain, and which is for socket, and which is for air conditioning. Just calculate the total number of the brick and the AC contact. So that you will calculate the space, how many space you need uh, install for the AC contact and the brake. And the option C, this is the current and the power. Because we have calculated the channel, and every channel you need to design and confirm how many current you will use, just you need to choose the brake. Uh, like this box, uh, this AC contact max support 25 ampere for the load. But the brick you can choose uh, just less than 25 ampere. So in default, we have installed the 16 channel. Uh, this is for auto stop if you have overload. So you can change to 10 ampere, 16 ampere, or 20 ampere, just according to your load you have connected to the output. So the lamp, or maybe 16 ampere is enough, and the air conditioning, maybe you will use 20 ampere. And this is uh, it's up to you to design the brick. So these three options determine the DB box hardware configuration. So this is the first step you need to do. Just uh, confirm these three items. So I think you can choose the melee path of your DB. And the second is the function. This function means uh, what software you will use and what function you will use. Uh, there are list of some functions and the software I tell you. 
Uh, the first one uh, is most of people will use by the mobile phone application. So we can use the Kinko Smart Home application on the mobile phone. This is for when. That means this is used by internet and in the card server. And for the remote country, your switch and your power. And this is the key box. This key box also can install on your mobile phone. This is for LAN local network use. Uh, this is, can work without internet. And this must need internet. So this is different application for the mobile phone. So if internet is bad and the internet is broken, so you can also use this application inside of your house. And if you have used this application, you can go anywhere just on the world your mobile phone have connected with the internet. You can country your home uh, every switch uh, remotely. So this is for the phone application. And maybe you will use the PC and the tablet. This PC and the tablet uh, have two different versions of the software. Uh, this is the keybox. Uh, the pad version also can install the Windows PC operation system. Uh, this is for one device, like one logical controller and one relay controller to use. And this is multi-board uh, software. Uh, this software support, you can use one PC and one tablet to control multi-controller and logical controller. So only use in one software. You can add most about more than 200 uh, controller. I think it's enough to use, actually not in the so much uh, picks to use. So this is for the different version for the Windows PC and the tablet. Uh, I can tell you that about the tablet, you just, you can buy from us or you can use your own tablet. Just use the Windows 10 operating system and the 10 inch screen size the tablet or can install our the software. And the C is the automatic country. This is used by CULB logic controller PC software because this almost need, not need the software to control your device. It's automatically. So you just set the condition, uh, like the sensor input triangle output, and the timer and the schedule uh, triangle the output. And for many logical command, just set by yourself on the CLB PC software. After you send, uh, it can work locally, uh, not need any software connect to the CLB logical controller. It can automatic country. Uh, you can see uh, this is CLB logical controller. This is, you can see the blue socket. Uh, this is the yellow socket, is the relay controller. So this and this work together for automatic country. This is for input module, and this is for output, country all bricks, and all AC contact. And uh, the D options. If you have Raspberry Pi, and you can install a uh, home assistant and a node red. And also you can let the DB box integrate to the home assistant and the node red by the MQTT or by the TCP private protocol. So it will be very easy and convenient uh, to integrate to the third software plant. Also, you can integrate to the Open Hub. And also, you can integrate with the Google Home and Amazon Alexa. If you have installed the Node-RED, you can easily to integrate with the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa. Not only use the Google Home application uh, and Amazon application, and also you can use the uh, speak. Uh, by voice country speaker for the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa Echo. So uh, this will be very powerful. Just add the Raspberry Pi uh, in your local network, connect to the smart power distribution box. Uh, there will be powerful and extend your functions. And uh, the third, we will tell you how to uh, diagram design. And we have record the video on the computer screen I will tell you uh, the diagram details about the DB box. And the fourth, uh, we will record uh, the, all the video progress and uh, 
according to the diagram, I will tell you how to step by step uh, to make it and uh, what, what prepared for the toys and what prepared for the parts and to make the power distribution box. Okay, now let's look at the diagram and the video, the whole progress we have acquired. But firstly, we thanks to Mr. Wilson from COVID. He has helped me uh, draw the beautiful diagram so that you can understand uh, easily. So we will look at the diagram and for the video, uh, we can at the same time, that will be easy to understand. Okay, now let's look at the diagram, the full diagram. Uh, this is the power distribution box for the 16 channel. We have made the many kinds of distribution box. You can see our YouTube channel in many different configurations. So this is uh, just a 16 channel. So you can see this is the brick, uh, the power incoming uh, from this brick, and this red is the L, and this the black is the neutral. Uh, this is to the power meet. Uh, this meet you can see the voltage, uh, the current, and uh, the power consumer, and many other uh, data. So this is the L in, and this is L out. Uh, this is the terminal for the leave line. And this is for the neutral, uh, neutral in and neutral out. So it will be easy to understand. Uh, this is neutral terminal and for this neutral. And uh, this is the power supply, uh, 12 voltage, uh, DC 12 voltage. Uh, this you can see the 220 AC. It also supports the 100 AC. Uh, the range is very long. So this is a 12 volt DC for the H32B relay controller and the switch terminal board. And you can see this CLB logic controller also have the 12 volt. So this is for the power. And uh, this is 32B relay controller output. You can see this is L in. Uh, this is my bus bar, uh, this 16 channel. So you can see the 16 channel is all shot together. Uh, when you see the video, you will see clearly. I can just tell you this is channel one, relay one, output, relay two, output. This two point is for relay one. This two point is for relay two. This dry, just dry not contact, just on and off, on and off, no power output. So we need to let the L line come to the input, and this is the output uh, to the AC contact. So you can see the 32 B relay, we have used the 1 to 16 channel. So you can let the 1 connect to the first AC contact, and the relay 2 output connect to the second AC contact. And with A1, is the, and A2 is the coin of the AC contact. Uh, we give the A1 and A2 the 220 voltage, so the, so the AC contact will be open and closed uh, for on and off country, the AC contact. So we can uh, let every output uh, connect to A1, 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 and this A2 This A2 all is the neutral line are connected together. And this is a snub. Uh, we have made the video tell you this and the side. And the, uh, before the lesson, we have seen the RC snub can skew the spark of the coin of the AC conduct and it can extend the relay life. So every channel was just an uh, RC snub. Uh, this RC snub uh, have eight channel output. So this snub is for one to eight channel. And uh, you can see uh, this is another the second RC snub. This is for the nine to 16 channel. So you can see uh, this line is connected with the A1 and this is connected with the A2. Uh, just every channel, this one and this one, connect the coin together with A1 and A2. All is independently connect to A1, 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 A1. And this just use one line, not needed independently, just one line connect to the A2, 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 A2. 
So this is the power system uh, for AC contact and the relay controller. And each AC contact is output. This means number four, the four pin is output. The one and go to the brick. Uh, you can choose a brick. We have choose a 16, 16 chain ampere. So you can choose a 20 or 25 channel because our AC contacts the default uh, is uh, about uh, 25 current ampere. So you can choose the 16 channel. So this is the output for load, for lamp, uh, for cotton, for other device. This is output. Uh, you can see this is the power system. And uh, you can also see this is communication. Uh, this is IS232 cable with the CLB. And you can see this yellow line, uh, the relay controller is connected with the CLB. Uh, this this IS232. And uh, you can also need the switch terminal board. This is switch terminal board. Uh, this IS232 is a blue line and will also connect with this IS232 point. And other communication line is IS485. This IS485 is for the meter because we can use the PC software to read the power, the current and the volt. So this is communication connect with the CLB RS485 point. And for this logic controller, you can also see this is a temperature sensor. This is a range for five channel temperature sensor. I think this range is enough for you to use. And this is a 16 channel analog, just a 0 to 5 analog sensor. Many sensors can be used like the soil sample temperature and the humidity and uh, the water level and uh, the pressure uh, CO2 or gas sensor and this is digital input this digital input connect with any dry contact device uh, like the sensor and also you can see I have dry the switch panel uh, this is six button switch panel and uh, you will see uh, in diagram this also have switch to, uh, switch panel you can see this here also have switch panel. But uh, why I have put the switch panel in here and also in here, what's the difference? Because this switch panel just can count every relay one, relay two, relay three, relay four, every relay on and off. I just fix the function just for the on off country. And uh, this switch panel, this switch panel, because this is logic controller, so you can define any but what functions you will need. Like, I can define, I can define the key one for turn on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight lamp for key one, and turn off the light, eight light for key two. And the case three, I can define as the nine to sixteen lamps uh, for on, and this button four for off. So just define any buttons for your need. Uh, you can define the relay actions. Uh, uh, also, you can define the one, seven, five, uh, six. Uh, just any channel you want to on and off. Uh, also, you can such as you can turn on this lamp. And after some seconds or after one minute, five minutes will auto off. So this also can be de defined by the CLB logic controller uh, for the button one or specific button. Or just it's up to you. You can define. Okay, I think now you will understand uh, what is different from this button and this button. Okay, this is a whole diagram we have designed for the power distribution box. Uh, we can see the next page. Uh, this is the details of the this three device uh, how it works. Uh, this is H32B. Uh, this is logic controller. Uh, this is terminal board. 
This is for country lamp or country load for on and off. Uh, this have relay inside, so we said relay country lamp. And this is the large country lamp without any relay inside. This just connect with the sensor, uh, many sensor or many switch or many other device, just input device. So you can read the sensor data and uh, read the uh, dry contact or analog sensor and the temperature update. So this is for FTTD function, just, just automatic control. And this is for the switch terminal body is for manually control. Uh, you can control by the panel, uh, switch panel, and control by the wireless remote. So this is for person to use, uh, uh, press or use the remote. And this different way, we just use IS232 cable connect with the together. You can also you can see the network cable. And this is network cable. So the H32B just connect with the network cable or connect with the Wi-Fi. Uh, you just can use your mobile phone or your PC to continue the lay on and off. If no CVL logic country and no the switch terminal board. It also can independently work, uh, just use the network. And uh, you, when you connect the IS-32 point uh, cable with this point and uh, this one, so this just add a country, country way for the manually country. This is not in, in the internet and not in the network. So if this network cable is disconnect and the Wi-Fi is disconnect, so this board also can work for this wall switch panel and this is wireless remote. Uh, this, this is working locally, not according to the network. And uh, you can see this is a logical controller. The logical controller also uses the IS232 connector with the relay controller. So this is the second way for the relay controller. Just this is the automatic way. So you can set the input, track or output, and the time track or output and the schedule uh, when the time and when the date is arrived uh, you can let the relay on and off and for the delay time so this also have the network and the wi-fi this is for your pc software to configure it ftt command in the local network this is work without the internet it work locally because we not let the automatic function on the internet it's it's a safety problem, so it will be safety for you. Uh, just all settings on this body inside. So this is a three device uh, how to work together. And if you want to know more details about the switch panel and the wall switch, uh, we can see this page. This page you can see this is a switch terminal board. And this is the wall switch. Uh, this is the four butt, and this is six butt. And every butt, you can see this is terminal. If the four butt, I just have SW1, SW2, SW3, SW4, and this is KCOM. Uh, if you have six butt, or four butt, or we have two butt, the KCOM will inside of the every panel, just one line for the KCOM. You can let the keycon connect to the, this point or this point, just according to you, which is convenient to use. You can just connect to, to left or to right, all is the same. And this is the switch SW1, uh, you can connect with the K1 and the SW2, connect to the K2. All this contact is dry contact, and the switch we have card self reset switch self reset switch when you press the key and the key is closed and when you remove the finger the key is opened is self opened and it not will be launched so this is self reset switch you can use any of your self reset switch by yourself and not must use our company's switch panel so it will be uh, flexible for you to choose a product to use. And this is the wall switch. And uh, this page is, we have many, many, many uh, videos on the YouTube channel. You can search 
the cost of the time uh, I just uh, tell you how to make the power distribution box uh, many uh, software you can see our other videos okay uh, this is the diagram we have introduced to you and now we can see the video we have recorded the video for the whole progress you can see the diagram the layout and this is the actually power distribution box you can see this is a brick uh, brick and the meat and this is the meat and uh, this is the power supply this is the power supply and the h32b h32b and the switch terminal board and uh, switch terminal board and the rc snub rc snub at this two place and the ac contact ac contact and the brick and the brick and this is CLB logic controller and this is CLB logic controller uh, this is we have designed for the single phase uh, for the 16 channel if you want to see other configuration maybe you have see the three phase uh, we, we can see uh, we have made uh, many videos uh, this is four channel uh, we have said you can confirm uh, your how many channel to use and how many current you will use and uh, three phase or single phase uh, you can see if you have make other configuration db you can see our youtube channel you can see this is for four channel single phase and uh, this is for one channel three phase uh, this is three phase l1 l2 l3 and the neutral this is for three phase and this is a solution for the GPIS modern. Uh, if you have installed on offsite, uh, like on the farm, or oh, no network, so you can use this antenna, GSM antenna. And this is 4G or 5G load or 3G load. You just insert the SIM card. You can use the GPIS communication, uh, work with the relay controller, and uh, not need internet and not need the Wi Fi. And you can also see uh, this is. Uh, uh, 16 channel but uh, this is power meet this is small power meet uh, for every channel uh, we have installed for channel 1 and channel 2 for the power meet but in now we have installed a big power meet uh, 100 ampere for the whole box uh, the, the current and the voltage and this is small small uh, power meet uh, for every channel so this is different switch you can you can see and uh, uh, this is uh, three phase uh, about 24 channel so you can some channels use three phase and uh, some channels use single phase uh, work together uh, this is a case of solution uh, single phase and three phase used together and also you can see uh, this is a 32 channel all your single phase 32 channel this is video you can see okay now we look at the video we can we can see the whole progress when the video play the video i will explain uh, which need to note Uh, first, uh, you can see this is a box, uh, the metal box, very big. So if you uh, install the power distribution box, I, I think uh, you can uh, DIY by yourself and uh, buy this box in your local country city because it's very big and heavy. If this box order from us, it will be, uh, the shipment will be very expensive. You need to uh, choose a box, the size, uh, the wide, and the heads and we can open the box uh, you can see we have put all device inside of the box uh, but not have installed just put all the device so that you can uh, design your layout uh, you can put all the device uh, also you can according to your placement uh, which product to which you Position just up to you, like the breaker, the meter, and the controller, and the power, and the switch terminal board, 
and assist number and the AC contact and the outbreak and the logic country. So you can put all together and you will calculate uh, whether you have enough space or uh, whether it's convenient for you to wind the line. So you can see this will be clearly. And you confirm the layout. Now we can put all parts uh, removed to the box because we need to uh, take apart uh, the bottom part and we will design as a size and need to install the thin rail. We can take a fast. This is we need to mark uh, for the hole, uh, which, which need to install the thin wheel. And uh, the size you need to mark with your pencil. And this is the second thin wheel about the AC contact and the RC snub. forward and this is a third row just for the brick and for the logic controller and this is a terminal for the neutral line and this is for earth now we need to cut the thing wheel Just cut. And you need to make the hole. And fix the screw. And now, uh, install the thin rail. We will install the parts uh, for the brick, for the meat and the power supply. And the relay controller and the switch terminal board. And this is a fixed uh, for the for the components and not will be not move. Uh, just at left and at right use the fix. Uh, Now the second row, RC snub and AC contact also you fix it you can see this is the, the bus bar the bus bar is short for any uh, terminal and this also is bus bar. We can slowly. This is a bus bar. And you can see this is relay one, L1 is in and the output to the AC contact. This is L line in and this black is L output to the AC contact A1. A1 is the coin and this is the relay 2. Relay 2 also connect with the A1. So we need until uh, 16 channel or let the green orange output to the A1. And 
now you can see we have connect with uh, 16 channel output. Now we're ready to install the RC snub. Just connect with A1 and A2, uh, different channel RC snub output. As you can see, uh, this is the RC snub output. We connect with this A1, this A1 to this, this point, A1. And uh, now we connect all this with A1, different A1. And this is the power, the L line in, and this is the L line output. And go to the meet, meet L in, and this is L out. L in. And this is neutral, neutral line, neutral line in. And this is for L connect with relay controller. And this is for AC contact. So these three lines we need to connect together. Uh, we can use this toy, uh, connect with this line together. Uh, it's beautiful and easy. This is interesting. We have DIY for it. And the winding the line uh, makes a good contact. And we can quickly. And this is L out. Uh, this is for the power supply, the DC 12 voltage. This is L in and this is L and this is N. This neutral line we also let it together. Interesting. When it and connect to the L neutral neutral output, not L the neutral. And this is the neutral uh, for the RC snub. Uh, this have five holes. Just use one, any one is okay. And this we have used the bus bar. We have all connect with the A A two. A2, 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 all have used this metal line, have connected together. And this is the first RC snub. Also, we need to connect with the neutral line. As you can see, the left the neutral line with this one. And this is the neutral. And also connect together with a snub. And this is for the output uh, to the brick. This is for sixteen channel brick. And a fixed. And this is one of the DC-12 watch. 12 watch, this is positive. And this is the one, the DC-12 watch output, positive and negative. This is for the controller, and this is for switch terminal board. Uh, this point and this point to this point all need to connect with the DC 12 watch. Uh, this is the 12 watch. Also, we need to give the 
CLP, and this is IS485 uh -huh. communication line. Uh, this is one and a two, one and a two. One is B, two is A. Then connect with the CLB logical controller. As you can see, this is A and B. And the last, we have connect the IS232 cable, just like this, uh, to this place. And uh, this will connect with the controller. This is for this point. For this point. Okay, the board is complete. Now we just install into the box. After you install the box, you will need to fix it by the score. This is for the earth, earth line. Okay, this is complete for the DIY. It. So next we will test the other functions. Now you can see, easily to see the one, and uh, I will upload the diagram on the website that you can download, and you can compare with the video and the step by step. And also if you have some Questions about the one I can give you. See, we have used uh, uh, this kind of line. Uh, just uh, you can see this table, uh, just a different ampere during the different uh, diameter. So we use uh, this one because we use uh, 16 channel for 16 ampere. We need more than 16 channel, 16 ampere. So we have choose this one. This one is that for safety. And you can, according to your brick current, you can change the different line. And also, we have used the H32B relay controller and the serial B logical controller work with the power distribution box. And uh, this is the power. Uh, this is our unless dot link. Uh, this is the power. And this is the meet. Uh, this meet is for every channel's meet. Uh, you can see the current, the frequency, and the power consumer, and uh, the voltage. And this is RC stub. This stub inside a uh, different channel have each channel this box and this is AC contact uh, we have now have a make a new design the AC contact we have let the RC, the RC inside of the AC contact so there are two kinds of different AC contact one is without RC stop and another is RC stop inside uh, why I have make the video uh, use RC snub because uh, if you use your own AC contact or you use three phase AC contact, many AC contact without RC snub inside, so you need to add this RC snub. Uh, this is a way for scale the spark. So, this is the AC contact, and this is the power meet. Uh, this meet uh, is 100 ampere current and you can see the pin and the communication cable and this is a brick uh, this brick you can choose different ampere uh, according to you so this is the whole progress uh, I think you will easily to understand and uh, by this diagram you maybe change some different configuration it's up to you uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a message. We can give you, we can help you the
how to do it and give you the feedback. Okay, this is a diagram and how to make it sections. Next, we will test the functions of the power distribution box. Okay, this is the last one, the fifth. Uh, this is uh, when the power distribution box is made complete, uh, we need to uh, power on and for our test, uh, we will have a demonstration for the test uh, how to use the power distribution box and what function you will need. Uh, this will be recorded uh, video uh, for you. Okay, let's look at this the whole power distribution box after installed. Now we will test the software function. We can use the controller with the software by Keybox or by Kingdom Smart Home application. Uh, this yellow is the Keybox. This is working in local network. And this red is Kingdom Smart Home. This is for remote country by the internet. But in these lessons, we will important to introduce you for the home assistant like this. We have used your PC or computer to configure the home assistant. The video guide, you can see our other video or lessons. Now we can again for the test. First, we can power on. You can see one the power on. Uh, this is red LED, uh, this is red LED power LED, and this is power LED. And this is switch terminal, but also have the power. So we will wait the system to start up. When you can see the network, uh, the LED is white, and this LED is white. That means this controller and the logic controller have connected to the home assistant. We have installed the home assistant on the Raspberry Pi 4 and also the MSQT MQTT server on the Raspberry Pi 4. So now you can see, uh, we can see the first the power meet. The voltage, uh, 225 volt. And this is I, this is the current, uh, this is 0 0.04. This is the PC software for the logic controller. Because this software, we can send the FTTT automatic control function that input track or output and the sensor and the analog sensor, digital sensor, and the temperature uh, track with the relay output. Also, we can see the power meet. You can, we can go to the meet. This is number 234. So we can add this meter on this PC software. We can just input 234 and we can press read. When we press read, uh, this is communication, and the software will read the data from this meter. Okay, let's uh, test. We have connect with this five lamps. So we can open the brick for five lamps. And this brick is off. And uh, we can use your mobile phone uh, this is the home assistant. We can turn on light one and light two, light three, light four, light five. And also we can use this button. This is for all off and all on. We can press. Now I can press this button for turn all on. As you can see, uh, this all 32 channel is on because we have connected with 16 channel. So this is 16 channel, it's all on, and we can also press off. Oh, it's very quickly. And this is for home assistant, really output. Uh, you can see we have connected the 16 channel, and this rest of the channel output, uh, you can use for uh, when the brick uh, and when the relay uh, is bro uh, broken or the bed, you can use the rest uh, channels instead of the uh, bad one. Uh, this is for repair. And also you can see the switch terminal board. We have connected with a panel. This panel you can use a uh, two button, four button, or six button. So we can turn on lamp and uh, turn on lamp two, lamp three, lamp four. Also we can turn off the lamp. You can also connect with lamp to this digital input for logic controller so that you can define any button for countering different relays at the same time. Like press one button, you can turn on or off, or on, or some special output on. Uh, this is for the digital input. 
And also you can see this is a button for emergency use. Every AC contact has a button. So you can use this turn on and turn off. In the middle, that means uh, control by uh, controller, uh, like turn on and turn off. In the middle, it's controlled by PC or uh, software or by the mobile phone software, by the relay controller. And uh, now we can see the logic controller. Uh, this is for fire temperature sensor. This is fire temperature sensor. You can see this is home assistant. This is a fire temperature sensor. You can see when I hold on the, my hand, the temperature will be up. Raise the temperature. The fire temperature all is changed. And I release the temperature. Then the temperature will be down. And this is for the analog input sensor. Uh, this is for analog. I have not connected with the sensor. You can also connect with the temperature sensor, humidity sensor, or water level sensor, or other just analog 0 to 5 volt sensor is can used by the this point. And this is digital input point. I have connect with this door sensor. This is digital input one channel one. If I open the door, just like this, uh, this will be on. You can see this will be on. And I close the door. Uh, you can see uh, this will be off. Just uh, open and close. So it will monitor the digital input sense. Also, you can see the 16 channel digital input sense and the temperature sensor, and the analog sensor. All this can uh, integrate to the home assistant. And now we can see this is the remote. This remote, we can also uh, control the relay, like turn on relay one. You can see when I turn on relay one, the channel on the home assistant state will be updated. Uh, turn on relay two, relay three, four. So you can see the file and this state is updated. And we can also turn off. Okay. This is for the home assistant. I uh, use the relay controller and the logical controller. And uh, the relay also can be controlled by the remote and the country by the switch panel. And the country by the home assistant mobile phone. Because now I have used the Home Assistant in local network, you can also install the DDNS in the Home Assistant. That is an add-on store. You can install the Dark DNS so that you can use the Home Assistant remotely. You can use it controlling your relay and monitoring your all sensors outside of your home. Okay, this is the power for, of the power distribution box. Okay, this is the whole progress. I think. You can already make the power distribution box by yourself. Just uh, design the hardware and uh, choose the software function and uh, do it. Uh, just uh, you will make the powerful distribution box and uh, for your home and for your building or for your project. Okay, if you have any questions, don't understand. And you can leave a message to us. I will help you and we can reply you quickly. Okay, thanks for watching.